Happy product launch day. Yay. Who calls people anymore? This is Tobias? Tobias, it's Alice. The app is down. My IT and software dev teams think that we've been hacked. I need your help right now to figure out if we have a larger security issue. But this can't happen today, Tobias. Not today. Okay, one second. Just let me ping the cloud security team. Alice, I'll call you back. Jeanette, we've got a problem here. Sebastian, I need you to do a status check on the app. I think we've been hacked. Alice said that the app is down and they can't access it. Why didn't I see this? Tobias, I'm locked out of my computer and I have this ransom note on my screen. Hi there. Sorry to bother you on such a big day, but we have some good news and bad news for you. The good news is your data is perfectly safe. Well, that's good. The bad news is you're going to pay us $25 million by the end of the day to access it. Not to worry, once you pay in full, your access will be returned and you can go back to work. I'd say that's not great. What are we going to do? I just read that 22% of people that pay ransomware never actually get their data back. And sometimes the hackers come after them for even more. We're not paying this, I'm calling the FBI. I'd like you two to see what we can do about it and if there's anyone else that can help us. Can we access our backups? No, they encrypted our backups too. The FBI confirmed we shouldn't pay the ransom. Any luck here? We tried a decryption tool. What does this mean? That we're dead in the water. Well, as you all know, the product launch was a complete failure, along with this company. And worst of all, we must work overtime to rebuild everything. No vacation. My beautiful vacant lake house. There, there. It'll be okay. And you hate to see it. A bad actor had logged in using Alice's credentials and moved laterally through the program. The team's tools held them back from catching it in time. The hackers were able to assume the role of a privileged account. And it was only a matter of time before they'd kicked off a ransomware attack, locking out the app, then locking out the entire company, and extorting us for access. But what would have happened if we had Microsoft Security? The original phishing email would have been caught and remediated automatically. Hey, Jeanette. My advanced hunting project is paying off. Microsoft Defender along with Azure Sentinel is automatically sifting through massive amounts of data to detect potential threats. What it can do in an hour would have taken me days or even weeks to sort. Alice would have never received the email in the first place and gotten her first choice for dinner. My whole team would have interconnected tools that share information easily and freely. And with AI and automation, alleviate the manual hassles so they can focus on what matters. We may have had a phishing incident, but Microsoft Defender for Office 365 automatically detected and remediated the threat. And most important of all... Team, we did it. The product launch was a huge success, and the pre-order pre-sales are off the charts. I am so proud to say that I am the master of the river. Fly fishing, here we come. And no, none of you can come and visit me. Benjamin, do you know how to fish? No. Why? Cybersecurity is just like that. You don't realize how critical it is until something goes bad. With Microsoft Security working behind the scenes with your security team, the end user won't even know about threats that have been remediated. And that's the best security of all. So, which path will you choose? 